In this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can create your own organization and add your gateway in the WizDM remote management platform. Start with logging in with your Rack ID set of credentials. If you don't have one already, create it by clicking the Create New button. Now, to create a new organization, you must fill in the company name field. The subdomain is auto proposed based on the name of the organization, but you can customize it if you want. Optionally, you can also add contact and location information for your organization. Then click Next. It is time to choose a subscription that fits your needs. You have several affordable options. The community subscription for teams getting started with up to three rack gateways is free. A standard subscription for teams managing and deploying up to 10 gateways. A professional plan that scales up to 50 gateways. And the enterprise subscription for really big deployments with four options up to 100, 200, 500 and 1000 gateways. If you need to manage more than 1000 devices, please reach out to us for a quotation. With your WizDM account, you can manage your gateways remotely with its many tools that help you. You have built-in server management, packet capture, email notifications for status updates of your gateways, SSH tunnels, monitoring of the rack external battery system, the battery plus, and great security on top of that. It is time to add the first location where your gateway is going to be assigned. It is really important to clarify that by location, it is not meant as a geographical one. It is a term that in the WizDM infrastructure is used for grouping the gateways by configuration settings, not physical location. Let's begin with the location name. For example, station A, then you can type its address or search on the map. On the last option, you can enable or disable the gateway status notifications and choose the frequency of the report, instantly, hourly, daily. After that comes the network configuration. There are three working modes to choose from, packet folder, basic station, or built-in network server. Choose the frequency depending on your region and set the other parameters, the number of channels supported, and if it is a public LARA1 network or not. Set the protocol section, the UDP protocol parameters, and check if you want to save all of these configurations as a template for future use. After setting up the location, it is finally time to add the first gateway to your organization by providing the serial number and EUI number. You can find the label at the back of your WizGate Edge device or in the web UI. After filling in the required fields and clicking on the Add button, your gateway will appear as either available or unavailable. If it is listed as unavailable, check the serial number and the EUI number and try again. You can also have the option to upload multiple gateways at the same time with the option of bulk adding with the given CSV template that you can download from the WISDM page. Select the gateway you want to add and click on the Add Gateways button. Your gateway is now successfully added. You can now have all the information about it and you can make the changes in the configuration of the device. From the Overview tab, you can have information about the device itself, such as the received packet, transmitted packets, the end devices connected to the gateway, the current version of the firmware of the gateway, the map of the location of the gateway, the basic information such as the model, MAC address, serial number, EUI, frequency band and the number of channels. You can check the performance of the gateway and unassign the gateway from this location. In the Network Interface tab, you can check the primary and secondary networks that your gateway is using and edit them. The LARA Network tab is where you make the configuration, the work mode selection, the location frequency plan, the protocol selection and the DUP protocol parameters. The System Settings tab is where you can check the current version of the firmware, enabling FOTA, firmware over the air, set a gateway name, time zone and log settings. Let's update our gateways. Click on the Overview tab, then scroll down and click on the name of the location where the gateways are assigned. Click the drop down arrow in the WizGate OS menu. Select the firmware version we want to update and then click on the box on the top left to select the three gateways. Click on Send Updates, then Update Selected Gateways. Now, just wait for the updates to take effect. Keep an eye on your fleet of gateways with WizDM, whenever, wherever. If any of the gateways are down, you will receive an automatic email to notify you about the problem. Save time in all your wireless network operations with remote control access over your fleet. And remember, 
Rack Wireless makes IoT easy.